Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Meg Books Off the Beaten Path. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're a longtime subscriber, glad to see you again. It's time for another early morning book review. And today the book we are reviewing is Jamie's Fortune. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, I got it upside down. Jamie's Fortune. And this book was written, let me get to a copyright date, in 1957. And somebody has marked out Janie's fortune and they put in Margie's fortune, which is one of the reasons that I bought it because I thought I love that kind of thing in a book where somebody has made it their own. So I can see this being owned by a young girl in the early 60s, late 50s, and just dreaming away reading this book. Yeah, I can see that, but that wasn't me. I gave this book a two stars. It was so boring. Boring, boring, boring. <laughs> it was so boring. So the plot is that Janie doesn't get to go to London with her parents and their newly birthed twins because there's just not enough money to take Janie. There's not enough money to take you, Janie. Sorry about that. So they kind of dump her in New Mexico where her grandfather was from. And so, but he has since deceased, but they were like, why don't you go there and stay with these people that we don't really know? And you can stay at their ranch and she can ride a horse pretty well and you can help them out with the horses. So Janie, for some reason, doesn't kick up a fuss and agrees to this. So she goes to New Mexico and she begins to work on the ranch with Roy. Now there's two love interests in here. There is Roy and Buck. And Buck from the beginning we know is trouble. We know Buck is trouble from the beginning because he gropes at her in the car. Like when he gets her in the car, he kind of like rah, 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 after her legs and everything like that. She's all hunched up in the side of the car and everything. Um, Roy doesn't seem to pay her any attention whatsoever. Um, just kind of treats her as another ranch hand and goes about his business. So Janie's fortune concerns a mine, a mine, uh, I believe a uranium mine, which she thinks that grandpa has found a treasure in their uranium mine and she wants to go to the mine. Oh my God, here is Twitch. Twitch back up. So she wants to go to the mine and find, oh, hold on. I'm having technical difficulties here with my cat, one of my cats. She keeps flipping her tail on the camera there. Sorry about that. Anyway, she wants to go to the mine to find this fortune that she is sure is there. And she tries to get Roy to take her, but Roy doesn't, Roy doesn't necessarily want to take her. Buck doesn't really have a lot of interest in it. He's more interested in, wait for it, square dancing. I am just being accosted by this cat. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I'm going to have to hold onto my tripod here for a second while she gets down. Hopefully she will get down. Hopefully. Yes. Okay. She's gone. Sorry about that. So where were we? Oh, yes, the mine. So she wants to go to this mine, this uranium mine, which I guess people didn't know about radiation back then. I mean, don't you get radiation from handling raw uranium? You would think, but she wants to go into this mine. So blah, 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 blah. Um, they finally go to the mine. There is no fortune in there or anything like that. It's just this weird conclusion about an accident that happened years ago that this one guy, Juan, thought he was responsible for, but he's not responsible for. And it turns out, and I thought this was really, was it stupid, was it boring, or was it lame? I can't come up with the right word. But what Grandpa's fortune really was that he wanted to give Janie, because he loved Janie, was his original manuscript of a book, which Janie and everyone around who had read it said it sucked. 
said that it was like the worst book that anybody had ever attempted to write, that it was boring and that it was dull. Well, it probably came in second to this one right here. I do not recommend this book. I love my vintage. Um, I suppose I can see the the slow burn romance in it, but it was a slow burn. I mean, it was like a pages and chapters and everything like that, slow burn romance in it between Janie and Roy. And of course, Roy, even though he's a ranch hand, he's getting his masters. So, I mean, that's where our priorities are in 1957. He can't just have a job. He has to be working towards a masters, which I think in this day and age is a little outdated. So what am I going to read next? I don't know. I've got a big book haul. I went down to Dallas and I went to Half Price Books and I've got a big book haul coming up that I need to um, get those out and show those to you. And I got some really good ones. Yay! So anyway, hit that like button. Give me a subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I will check you later.